guys welcome back to my youtube channel my name is alani kuye i'm a youtuber based in lagos nigeria <laughs> guys today i have a visitor on the channel and this is because in our house april is our month of celebration it's my husband's birthday it's our wedding anniversary <laughs> oh god rest the soul of my grand uh, my father-in-law he lost his dad and the first person he called was me imagine Google told me I'm not doing again. I just, just said, I just lost my dad. I'm like, sorry, welcome to the club, King Coco. I lost my dad too. It was not for me, baby, baby. I could come and snob him. Then I had a very busy job, so I could not attend the barrier. He still sent me an address. He said, please make sure you attend. It will matter to me. I will collect I will call. It will be very important for me if you attend my <laughs> dad's barrier. I mean, I was going to work then. He was not my boyfriend. So when I tell my boss, I'll say, my ex boyfriend that used to break my heart on the 25th, that's having your love for 25th day. I should come for burial. Guys, that's how we came back from the room. Another day, we just came. I, I feel like you knew I loved you. You knew I really loved you. Even when I wasn't doing all those things, it was one guy I really liked. So he just came one day, he said, I want to see you. I can never forget. And, he, and I said, Time. He said, Meet me at Galeria. Do you remember? You had a meeting with someone. So I had to wait for you. When we finished, he just said, Hi, how are you? You look nice as usual. I mean, I'm a babe, right? The next thing I said, I just wanted to tell you that I was planning to get married, Emo, and I thought about you. I'm like, okay, so I'm out right coming. And I said, I want to marry you. Let's. Eh, eh. He said, Afana, let's marry. How did you say it? Yeah, that's fine. He said, Afana, let's marry. <laughs> and I said, come on, stop it. You that we are dating, we are dating. You know, work. And I said, you feel like we we'll make it work in our marriage? I said, who told you that? I, I mean, look at with the bad news and everything in the news. No, he said, no, it wasn't like that. Your why did you? Before, well, let me ask okay. us. Why did you come back to me? Why me? Because I knew you had big girls with this. And the thing is, um, you cannot marry everybody, and you cannot get all the fishes on the river. So you have to understand your goldfish. You may, you see, um, <laughs> we not. Let me say it out. Say it out. <laughs> say it out. You have to understand what. You have to understand what. <clears throat> Let me say it out. So, as I was saying, you have to understand your goldfish. I am. So the thing is, I I I, I just know that. Okay, I think I know this girl for a long time. I know she has some. You know, the 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 foggy side she has will be someone else's strength. Someone else's foggy side will be our own strength. So nobody's complete in this world. But so what is important to you? I have the, it. The other things I want just. I want to, to travel. Guy. I know I travel. Uh, uh. Those I used to travel a lot. I'm going to travel. I know that my wife is secure with my kids in the house. Not me coming back and noticing that my gate man, you know, you know how all, all these things happen now. When you see women, baby, what are you missing. thinking about? You've been watching so much of Afri Nolly. No, these this things happen. I'm in Jordan. No, I'm in You see what I'm You know what African magic is about. It's not what you, you know. I'm a, I'm a type of fan, you know. But the thing here is that I see this happen. You have to be able to say, okay, my home is secure with this person intellectually and every other thing. So, I'm not, okay, let me just go for this girl. But let's talk about the Yinka and Mary six years ago. As uh, metamorphosed uh, to it's a not the Yinka you have now. now. Motherhood, part of it, then more comfort. And I was it. also able to, guys, bear in mind, you see those days, yeah, me, but like stress. <laughs> <laughs> so I told you why I came back to you. Next question. Oh, yeah, why did you come back to me? Because, because you saw Valley that you so wanted. Next question. Next question is so, why did you just come back and you did not try to date? We we're just talking marriage. No, we and guys, bear in mind, I was 24 mm -hmm. when you started talking marriage. I just got 24, mm -hmm. it was my birthday. Remember, you came mm -hmm. on my 24th but birthday. We dated till then before we got we did our introduction in, in February, February of 2016. Yes, from uh -huh. 2015 uh -huh. of July. I, I was 24. I, you came back 24 and started of talking marriage. I'm not of the rings, people. You did not so engage six months me. is not in, okay. I did not say, Will you marry me? You did not say that. I said, Your boy just, just came back, you just said, Alpha. Let's marry now. That exact words. I'm like, sorry. I have to speak Will English. You marry me? Come on. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not now. When I give you your bill, you know me My now. Bill. I know how to send you a bill. I bought 52, 52 big two bars of yam. Oh, JP. I, the oh, JP. The, the child is in the visitor's room. You, you decorated it beautiful. Oh, JP. Oh. A jail song. Guys, that's how it now came. No, no, no. I'm sorry. 
No petty, nothing. Else. He just said, I'm sorry. Let me let's finish. have a meeting. And I got there and he said, Alpha, now let's marry. I said, Sorry. I said, I said let's look towards marry. Let's let's let's. He said, Alpha, now let's marry. I, I said, Let's come and back. And I said, Sorry, what do you mean? I said, Let's come back. And I said, let's come come back. Back. And I said You need to let your guards down. If you want to apologize, apologize. For what? I didn't offend Stop you. Stop like this. I was trying Oga, to. Oga, what do you want? Say it in layman language. Stop using English. Stop using phone. Eh? All this pride from Edo states that you come from, you're gonna drop it. She can be sometimes around. <laughs> See, I'm cosmopolitan. I don't, I don't. I, I, and I'm not. Excuse you. You guys know. Go through my page. You see, I speak English. Just I want to be why this Edo man brings out the roughness. Mm. <laughs> <thing. laughs> I taught her English. Yeah, that's true. Sha. Ah, I remember those nights, midnight call. Guys, if I have literature, government, English, see, I'll get all those art courses. You know what I'm saying? So do you have your past question there? I'll say yes. You say so. Let's start answering. You wait. <laughs> <laughs> you will now start giving me a question and answer. I will mark it. Like by you can see what's up. So you that you yourself by yourself. You now say what did you pick? Number one. You will call the question from his end. Yes, past question. I'll be picking the answer. You remember? After everything, you know, so yeah, mark yourself. Number one, what did you pick? I'll say, hey, we say you got it wrong. The answer is, and you will tell me the reasons. In all fairness, ask the woman I have, my husband made me. In all fairness, it just, I feel like the very first day you saw me speak in English and you felt like, hmm, I like the way you speak. It's just that this Yoruba and pigeon you're mixing is gonna spot me. Since that day, I was deliberate about myself. And this is me coming from a place of, I couldn't even, at the time, chill man, so I, I, I'm not sure I could speak very well. My husband would change him. He was my English teacher, my teacher teacher. He did not used to buy me tea, so but if I say ah, I want to buy a textbook, I'll just see account. You just send me money. I mean, we're not dating, we're just friends. We just say okay, textbook right, we'll pay. I'll be like, why are you not trying to surprise me? Why are you not buying me clothes? Why are you not buying me shoes? Say, I'm not your father and your mother. I'm just trying to be a nice friend, not in personal. Guys, are you learning? This guy. Learn from Sage. Excuse you. you. Go for the new. It's DG. <laughs> That's the moral of the story. Hold on. Mm. But you know, you know that was one of my fears when you came back. I felt like you did not used to suit me off my feet. Wow. And you laugh fine. I hit your head on the floor. I see people looking all the time. <laughs> okay. Mm. Injury. But looking at how you now take care of me in the marriage, how you're rooting for me, you support me. I'm like, why you do I this part of you? Cause I, I almost didn't want to marry you. Someone else have gotten this lucky guy. So you. Who is lucky now? We are both lucky to have each other. We are blessed. I'm we are blessed. You. That's blessed it. So now, if you want to advise someone who is looking at getting married, but the girl has certain bots. You know, we all have our bots, right? I listened to a program recently and they were talking about cohabiting. That because they want to be able to see the essences of the other person. Mm. Me, I was just laughing. Because when I got married, I was a size 6. Now I am a 12. When I got married, if I sleep like this, I wake up like this. Now, when I want to, if I sleep on the side of the bed, I wake up on the other side of the bed. And my husband said, I now smell safe. I don't know. <laughs> why, why do you have to say that? I was about coming in that. You, see, you, see. you still have said it, I know. And I but why am I saying what I'm saying? The program I listened to, the lady said, if anybody snores, she would not marry the person. And in my mind, I started thinking. You were not snoring before. We... I was not snoring, right? And I started snoring after when I became a size. I'm on the but I have to start. No. Stop it. I have to make it very romantic. <laughs> very, very romantic snow. I love it. <laughs> I love it. Stop it, babe. No, I now stop I it. I now I now realize something. My husband will say, you know when I knew that it was an issue for him, he bought me skip your rope. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he said, babe, do you want to be doing exercise once in a while? I said, I said, so you got your heart. I think you're adding too much weight. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and if I look at myself in the way, I'm like, am I really adding weight? He said, no, you are fine. You just be skipping like thirty or fifty in the morning. I'll be like, eh. Do you have issues with my weight? You say lie lie. I don't have issues with it. I mean, you can't even tell me you have issues with my weight. No, right? I don't. Okay, so because I, want I like to... the vital statistics. What's that? Some. Ah, it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> it's okay. No, the statistics is very. I like the vital statistics. Why is my wife? I'm talking about. It, Excuse so. you, babe. I'm recording. That's okay. okay. Anyways, guys. So I just wanted you to advise someone who is looking to pick in a life partner. Yeah. I feel like marriage is such a empty basket. N marriage is such it requires a lot of hard work. It's empty. So you put in the hard work, the the love, the emotions, the 
um, selflessness <laughs> and everything to fill the basket. Let so me ask you a question. Yes, I want to ask you that. How do you tell someone who's been in a relationship who has someone the genuine love, but for one thing or the other, they are they are thinking, ah, will it work? It, it depends on what that thing is. That that I, I, I've been saying things. If that thing is something that it's um it's minor, she snores, he snores, he uh, he, he has a body odor. Ah ah, body odor, baby. Oh wait, no. Let me finish, let me finish now. Ah, body odor, Let me finish. Sorry guys. Or she ah. she she out. She usually have a bath and throw a towel somewhere and uh, stop. Let me give an instance. I <laughs> and my very good childhood friend, <laughs> Doctor Samuel Olatunde, told you. We that guy up. is sitting somewhere. Yes. With a sabon buloba. No, we, it's 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 a good attribute that we both developed while we were living together as single guys. You want guys. to tell them? I will tell them. First. We usually love to use our clothes to clean our body. Even if you buy it, <laughs> if you buy him designer. I've been trying to. Uh, regardless of how expensive the clothes <laughs> is, forget. I got joking. You know my feeling, Nora. Hey, I know. Eighty years, years of vanity. marriage. Mm -hmm. I feel like after this episode, the next episode we'll be talking about the early years of marriage mm. and the early years of marriage, guys. Mm. And in our early years of marriage, I could not understand why on earth so your man wait on like you have your bath and you will clean your body with the expensive clothes you wore yesterday. The icing on the cake, if you like buy taxi, if you like, if you like buy clothes of one million, if you like buy two million, if you like buy in pounds, you will use it and you will throw it in the laundry basket. Now I'm dragging it. <laughs> Am I supposed to wash it before? <laughs> okay, so, 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 wait, 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 that's true. I'm not going to. So, he has a lot of bad habits. It's just that it's I like habits. him like that. I have so decided to adopt habits it. So, are things that are minor. You can just overlook. But there are major things that you cannot overlook. Like? If she doesn't feel scored. Um. If she's always not purposeful, even when you say stingy, now there's a between being prudent and being stingy. <laughs> now, stingy is you, you, you cannot even do anything, it's not that you are choosing things to do for her or for him. Like, oh, okay, okay, I'll support your academics, I'll support this one. You don't even want, but you like to call it, you want to give anything that is stingy, that is bad. Then also, cheating, all those things. The attribute, like, about if it's normal snoring, all those whatever, I mean, those things are you cannot cook. That. Well, See, you cannot married, cook. That you cannot cook here. Yeah. Can, well, you cannot cook, but do you want to learn? When I got married, I ate Hello, sex. I feel like one of the want to most. Learn is a problem. Was, what do you think was the worst thing I I, I didn't like doing at all when we got married? Every time your wife cooks for you, even if there's sauce there, just keep on eating. Like if it's a wife that loves you, she's one that will say, "Baby, it's like this soup is salty. Hey, eh, is it salty? In my mouth is very delicious." Oh. Aksa, I've never complained about any of us, but when we first got married, those food were ah! Uh, because I didn't like I, I didn't like love. to cook. She I thought I like, would complain about the food herself. Me, like, this food usually, is usually I'll say, hey, hey, imagine, I don't know how to cook, I'll still be cooking mm. and not say, see guys. So <laughs> sometimes, <laughs> your mom, I don't know how to cook, oh, I'll still cook, I'll be forming, I don't feel like tasting. I will now cook the cook finish, I'll cook the food finish, I'll now serve him, maybe I don't want to shower. You say, babe, I'm waiting for you. I'll say, don't wait for me or eat. I'll come back, you would have finished eating. I'll say, ah, you finish, you can let me eat my food. First, I'm like, ah, baby, this thing is not too much. You know, I say, hey, so you notice, no problem. I eat it. I go to the video. I'm yeah. like, ah, you finish it. Me, I cannot eat it. So you say, I better not cook it. You know, and I, if there, is, if there are few things I appreciate about my husband, it's one of those things. The fact that he doesn't complain. Willingly by myself, oh guys, the day I made the way to to you, I was almost three years in marriage. Mm -hmm. Everybody, my in my office, I announced that hello, everybody. I made a wedding today. Order you. My husband was a trophy. I said, ah, a wedding be job. A wedding be. Thanks to you two man, guys. Well you two is my teacher. <laughs> we had. A, I saw a video once. Somebody was saying that ah. This girl is using YouTube to go for me. I know it's many hours. You know my bad baby. You take five. Say you even make pama na mo na. Say you make paori erai. Me and that girl that if you come to my YouTube, I have a phone that has about four hundred videos downloaded of delicacies I intend to cook for the love of my life. Some I have cooked, some I have not cooked. And this I'm in the mood. You know, you'll be saying why are you stressing yourself. <laughs> I'll say today I want to cook. I got to the market, even though it's stress to shop. But you know, I don't see it as stress again. I realized I was because I didn't like it at all. I mm -hmm. like money. Mm -hmm. If it's money, let's do business. Let's make money. Let's hustle. I like that one. 
but you need to be a good wife to an amazing man right i need to be a good mother to my kids and I feel like if there is any lesson you take from this episode is the fact that it's not a big deal that you don't know how to do certain things. As long do as you want to learn how to do exactly, as long as you're willing, mm -hmm. willingness goes a long way. Mm -hmm. And I'd like to say in conclusion that in a relationship like marriage, disclaimer before I say what I want to say, we are not perfect. Mm -hmm. We are all a work in progress. Sure. You see our fight one day like this, you just jump and say, ah, ah. Physical, we don't need that. So we don't but we see our arguments. Yeah. Oh my God. You're gonna wonder what's happened. Anyways, I wanted to say that in a, in an institution like marriage, make sure you're in a relationship with someone that is willing to make the marriage work just as you. I felt like the willingness came from the father. I now realize my husband likes me. Oh God, guys, when I married this guy, I used to feel like oh, man, for me shako. When I married him and I saw the way he lost, he let him fall. Yeah, 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 fall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I say, hey. I don't know you have this kind of love. Now you to come and take some love. So I was intentional about my, making my marriage work. Because I realized that my husband would do practical every anything and everything for us. Like he would do anything for us. So the best I can do is to meet him halfway and do something as well. That's how I decided to be the deli the Ketra Chef Yinks. Mm. That's my new name. Call me Chef Yinks. On that note, this episode is a wrap. Guys, if it's your first time here, please like, subscribe, and share. I'll see you guys in another video where we'll be discussing how do you want early, to discuss? Early, early years of marriage. We'll discuss that already now. No, we'll discuss we'll discuss marriage the way you see it and the way it is. Ah! Oh, <laughs> well, it's not really different for me too, but it's just <laughs> not really. I didn't say it's not. Not really. Excuse but to an extent it is. Right? Excuse you. Who put you? What, 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 what you thought marriage was? You know, one funny thing is that when you teach about those things, you teach about them theoretically. <laughs> and when you face, that's why some churches don't allow you to pastor a church unless you're married. Because when they come to you with some marital issues, how do you handle it? Now, I'm not saying some, there are some pastors that are not married and are doing very well, fine. But when you're married, you will still do better because the things that they'll be talking about is based on experience.